A dark cloud is hovering over Red Lake in the shape of a drug epidemic. Members of the community, though, are doing what they can to change that. Haiti Clotter shows us how Red Lake is trying to take back their community. When illegal drugs threaten to take over your neighborhood, you do something about it. The 11th annual Red Lake Community Wellness Summit allowed different organizations from within to address this issue head on. I mean, we do have an epidemic that is here in Red Lake, but we're no different than any other small town, big city. It's happening all over the United States. The Seven Clans Casino, Hotel and Event Center hosted the summit, and the audience heard from panelists about services that can help the people of Red Lake. According to the captain of the Red Lake Police Department, drugs are a huge problem in the community, specifically opiates. We come together, we network together, we partnership together, and we work together to try and make it better here in Red Lake so everybody can be happy. Panelists wanted to reach millennials because they're the future leaders. Shantae Strong is part of the Red Lake Youth Council and has lived in Red Lake her entire life and is proud to call Red Lake home. Red Lake means more than just basically everything to me, knowing it was my hometown, being able to create friends here and just getting to know more of my history and family itself. As a young child, Strong didn't realize how big of a drug problem there was, but she sees it now as a college student. People just need to become part of the community in order just to not help themselves, but to become a big group so we can all just participate. The community believes they're taking steps in the right direction. In Red Lake, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. The summit was formerly known as the Drug and Gang Summit. This year's theme was coming together for the people. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.